Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first video of 2020. I am so, so happy that you're here. If you are new, welcome. My name is MB and this channel is all about approachable aspiration for living a really holistic and balanced lifestyle. And I'm so happy you're here today because this time of year, we're all usually focused on pretty much one thing and that's the goals that we've set for ourselves. So the first week or so in January, I love the energy and the excitement and just everyone's just really focused on bettering themselves and the fresh start of the new year. It's kind of like a reset and especially coming into a new decade, I just feel like there's just so much like magic and wonder and excitement that's kind of buzzing right now. And what I really wanted to, I wanted to make a video for this time of year and not as like a goal setting video or anything like that, but you know, as we're working on ourselves and working on our goals and really stepping into a new decade and a new year, I wanted to encourage you to just take a moment to pause and think of the goals that you have or that you've set for yourself in the new year, whether it's to eat better or to work out more or whatever it is that you may be working or striving for, I want you to just bring those to the front of your mind for a second, okay? And as you think of them, I really just want you to focus on not what you have to do to achieve those goals. It's so easy, I think, to get caught up in, oh gosh, well now I'm gonna like revamp my entire diet or I'm gonna hit the gym, you know, seven days this week. And, and a lot of times we fall off the wagon or fall off track because we overwhelm ourselves and we set ourselves up with too much too soon. And so instead of thinking about everything that you have to do to achieve this goal, I instead just want you to stop, maybe even close your eyes if that's accessible for you today, and just imagine how you want to feel when you've achieved these goals. Imagine yourself eating better, whatever it may be. How do you want to feel? What is the feeling that you're chasing after or striving for? Because that's really what you're working on. It's not about the weight loss. It's not about eating better. It's about that feeling you're chasing. And so instead of focusing on the goal, whatever that external thing may be, I want you to just allow yourself to just sit for a second with that feeling. What does that feel like? Knowing that this is already inside of you. This is already available to you. You already have it. What does that feel like? And just taking a moment to feel Feel that feeling. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Welcome back. And I wanted to make this video for you today because we get so caught up on the doing, the action behind whatever the goal may be. We don't really ever stop to ask ourselves, what is it that I'm actually looking for? What is it that I'm actually searching for? Why am I doing this? What is my purpose in doing this? And so I just invite you and encourage you to sit with that today. And something else that I've been doing for the past couple of years, especially when I'm creating goals or things like that, is I like to have a word for the year. So last year in 2019, my word was powerful. And I, in the kind of the midst of 2018 coming to a close, me stepping into 2019, I just felt like a lot of change was brewing in my life. I just felt like, you know, different layers were going to be shed. I was going to be stepping into new things, stepping into new opportunities, new ways of being. And I knew that I really had to brace myself for all of that. Um, and I didn't even know <laughs> what I was getting into in 2019 and the start of it, but I just, I just knew it just had this feeling that I was really gonna be stepping into a lot and a lot of what 2019 was going to be was about shaping me and preparing me for what's to come now in 2020. And so 2019, my work was powerful and that showed up for me time and again and again and again and again. At one point I was working three different jobs, I was doing all these things and I just I had to remind myself, this is all happening for me, this is happening for me in perfect timing and I am powerful, I can handle all of this. I know that the best is yet to come and that this is preparing me for something more. So now as I'm stepping into 2020, my word for this year is ease and I feel it. I feel light. I have, um, you know, just beautiful systems and offerings in place that allow me to kind of breathe a little bit this year. And there's so much more to come. And especially with breath work and, and really bringing all of that to the forefront of my business, I just really feel, I really feel like 20, 2020, my word is ease. And so much of my work and my life gets to just be easy 
and it gets to just be effortless and just flow and all of these beautiful things. And so whenever I think of my goals or think of things that, you know, I want to do or create or have in 2020, I always come back to that word. So on top of thinking of, or not even thinking of, on top of feeling, whatever that feeling is that you're searching for or going after when you're setting these goals, I also really encourage you to think of a word that is kind of like your anchor for the year, your anchor for every action you take, your anchor for everything that you do. And if something is not aligned with or doesn't propel you toward that word, then it gets to fall away. You get to reevaluate or take a step back and pause and say, now, is this really enriching my life? Is this moving me in the direction that I want to be going? Is this helping me achieve what I want to achieve? So I hope that that's helpful, especially in the first week of January and that you and your year are off to a wonderful start. I am here to support you in any way that I can. I am wishing you just so much love and so much abundance in the new year, in the year to come, in the decade to come. And I can't wait to share even more content with you throughout this year. So as always, thank you for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.